first Academy Awards ceremony was held on May 16, 1929 at Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Since then, a lot has changed from the self-casted action heroes who spend their days interacting with people passing by on Hollywood Boulevard, to the colorful locals and visitors on Hollywood Boulevard that provide a rich backdrop to a vibrant part of Los Angeles. Come on tour with CEN and your host, Catherine Campbell, as we explore today's Hollywood Boulevard. Hi, this is Catherine Campbell reporting from Hollywood, California. It sure looks like to be an action-packed day here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Let's go see what's really happening here on Hollywood Boulevard. Superheroes are making a huge comeback here in California. Absolutely. With that being said, who is your favorite superhero and why? My favorite superhero was Superman because he was the original, the original superhero and he didn't wear a costume. He, he's, his costume was a part of him. He wore clothes over that costume. If you had any superpower, how would you use it and why would it be that? I would right. be invisible. <laughs> How do you say? Um, I don't know, just to be at places so people won't see me. Hot topic in Hollywood has to do with Kim Kardashian thinking she deserves a star out here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What do you think? Do you think she deserves a star out here? Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, no. why not? Because I don't even know. What, what, what did she do, you know, to deserve that? Do you think she deserves a star out here? No, because I think you need to actually have talent to get a star on here. See, I think Eddie, I, I think Kim Kardashian, she deserves her star. Yeah, she deserves her star. I'm Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Our next video features a very talented group of guys that will blow your mind. Sideswipe is a dance team that combines martial arts, gymnastics, and dance to create a totally unique performance that took them all the way to the finals in America's Got Talent. Here's what they had to say to us at a recent martial arts event in Los Angeles. Alright all right, guys, Spencer Owens here with the Sideswipe performance team. Did you guys all move here as a group to perform? Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Like Once we first started, we all grew up training together and then we had a chance to do America's Got Talent and the Britney Spears tour. Uh, we actually made it to the final five. But though, is there a right. culture behind what you guys do? Like, Is there like a cultural background? Yeah, the original style we started it with is a Japanese Okinawan Shoriru, and uh, we all began at that. There was no extreme movements, nothing, until we mastered the basics. And then once you get the basics, then you move up to the more extreme stuff. Once you see, uh, yeah, you see parkour, you see the acrobatics all playing into the traditional martial arts, but we're all black belts first. Black belts. You guys are like certified ninjas, pretty much. Every spring, the young and up-and-coming music stars of Hollywood get together for the Spring Beat event. It's an all-day party with tons of great performances and all kinds of celebrities showing up. CEN had a prime spot on the red carpet and we definitely had the party going on. Billboard charts. What does it feel like to like get yeah, accomplish something like that? It's really amazing, and we're really thankful for all the opportunities we've, we've been given. And we actually found out that we hit number one on Alicia's birthday. Hi, we're Blush, and you're watching Children's Entertainment Network. <laughs> we're here with Urban Extreme. Guys, how did you get started? Um, we started like I think it was four years ago, and we all became. Friends and we started dancing and singing. Do you dance? Do you dance? Get down and let your body jam. Back to the beat. Watch my feet. Don't touch the set your body. Ah. Skip them CG dance. Dance them CG dance. What's up, everyone? We are Radio for the People. Girl, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Like I never thought. Why? Uh. And I'm just a. Oh, I'm just a call away. One of rap's most promising young stars, Ace Primo, seems to be everywhere these days. When he's not rapping, he's starring in commercials like the new Powerade app, where he's showing off his mad basketball skills. We were lucky enough to see one of his awesome performances in Hollywood recently, 
and this guy certainly knows how to entertain a crowd. Say, yeah man, put it in the air man, for the young kid that's about to be a chairman of a business, I done did that, then did this, talk money, put your money where your lip is. You guys have a huge success with your hit song, Sword. You guys have to be excited about tonight's premiere, right? Yeah, really excited. Are y'all performing? We're performing um, right after we screen the video, and then we have a special guest performance uh, with the, the dance crew of the Avengers, so it should be fun. I am releasing my new single called I Am. We ran into three times Sumo World Champion Dan Kalflesh at the Sumo Nationals competition in LA and had a chance to talk with him after yet another win. Oh, it's great. Uh, every every win's every win's great. You know. Awesome. So it's, it looks hard. Is it hard? I say sumo's really easy. Sumo's easy to win, but it's very easy to lose. Wow. So tell me about this. How'd you get started in this? I actually saw sumo on television, and I realized that Americans were doing the sport. I didn't know that. So once I saw that, I decided to try it. And uh, two two years later, I was a U.S. champ. Oh wow, that's so cool. But so Dan, be honest with me. Do you walk around in this outfit in your house? Women love this outfit. <laughs> you look pretty comfortable in it. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. So congratulations, Dan. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. At a recent UFC convention, we caught up with a couple of the sport's biggest stars, welterweight champion Jamie Yeager and champion Don the Predator Fry. John, tell us about your most memorable experience in the ring. Oh, heck, I got a lot of them. I can just remember them, huh? Yeah. Most memorable would probably be uh, living through the Coleman fight, you know? Coleman, yeah, he beat the tar out of me for 10 minutes. And just being able to walk out of, walk out of the cage, I was real happy about that. That's awesome. Who is your most feared competitor in the circuit besides yourself? That's a good question. Besides myself, huh? That'd be my wife. Do you think you can give us your most frightening fight pace? Children's Entertainment Network, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Captain Campbell with CEN. We're here with the Ronnie Coleman, eight times Mr. Olympia. Mr. Ronnie, is there anybody at this event with more titles than you have? No, not today. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Big Ron, as they like to call you. Yeah. Do you still compete? Well, you know, I haven't competed in about five years now. Take a little time off trying to let my body heal up. But I'm thinking about getting in back, back into it maybe next year. Awesome. I hope you do. Yeah, this shout out goes to the Children's Entertainment Network. Hang in there. Stay positive. And always keep the faith. Yeah, buddy. Get ready for a wild ride that will keep you on the edge of your seat. The Fast and Furious Boys are back for the sixth film in the Blockbuster series coming out May 2013. And now onto one of our highest viewed videos on YouTube. And it's no wonder why. Belle Falcone is one of the most gorgeous and successful fitness models around. And we were lucky enough to talk with her at a recent competition. If you could say anything to the kids watching at home, what would you say? Uh, exercise because you know life is beautiful so you have to take care of yourself so make sure you take care of yourself lo love yourself and everybody's gonna love you back hey I'm Aaron Landon you're watching Children's Entertainment Network uh, yo what's up guys this is Spencer Owens here at Spring Meet with Aaron Landon from Crash and Bernstein how'd you get a part like that would you take a lot of hard work and dedication huh well yeah and uh, you know it was a long time I mean from the point when you filmed the pilot. Yeah. I mean, it's been like over a year since all of that's happened. What did you do when you found out you got crashed in Bernstein? I think I I started like going, yeah, and then I and then I probably went outside and skateboarded or something. <laughs> CEN ventures to Venice Beach, California, part of the legendary Dogtown Crew Hangout and where the Z-Boys revolutionized the sport.
Given that modern skateboarding and freestyle BMX were particularly born out of the Venice Santa Monica area, this place is really well designed, laid out in such a way that allows for really creative lines. This 16,000 square foot area is one of the only skateboard parks in the world located on a beach. It features two bowls, a snake run, a street section with steps, rails, and platforms. The design for the $3.5 million park came from local skaters and skating professionals. Endless fun with a variety of skateboarding options. What's the gnarliest trick you've done ever on a skateboard throughout two years of skating? Oh, that's a heavy one. I've been skating for over 10 years. And all of them are just as fun, but I like uh, flip trick in bowls, like kickflip melons in bowls, just big airs, lots of that. Tailbone, a lot of stuff. So I've been finding locals around Venice Beach that are just totally killer, great personalities, and I've been trying to push their boundaries. Um, so I found them, I tried to promote them. Um, I'm sort of like their agent and their manager at the same time. So these are the up and comers in LA. These guys are getting really hungry to get out there. Skateboarding is their life. So do you have any of your up and coming skate athletes here with us today? Yeah, we have two of them, two of them right now. Dante Pope and Owen Prenna. Um, I'm on Nike, Arbor, uh, DTA, and uh, yeah. What's your name? Willie Korea. What are you most famous for? Well, everyone knows me because I do a switch kickflip and uh, switch kickflip. Just one of my favorite tricks. I just recently learned it like a year ago. Do you guys have any funny stories skating from cops or security guards? Just of any of that sort, just being chased after? Yeah. Um, constantly just like skating at spots and filming and stuff. You get chased out every day pretty much. But uh, once I popped the fence and like my box was like fully like got caught on and I got like a wedgie, it seemed like some cartoon stuff, but it's like real. Can you guys tell me your most memorable moment skateboarding? Uh, one of my most memorable moments skateboarding would be just uh, I remember once when I first did my trick. It, it, my, when I first did my first trick, it might sound like nothing, but just the feeling and just the ecstasy of landing a trick and le knowing that you're going to be a skater. My name is Gino Seegers, and I want to give a super shout out to the Children's Entertainment Network. Bam! We had a chance to chat with Gino, and he shared lots of fun stuff with us, including what his favorite thing is to get pictures of from fans on his Instagram account. Let's take a look! Hey guys, I'm Catherine Campbell here with Gino, who plays Mason on Parakeets. Yo, yo! Yeah, Gino, what brings you out here today? You know, I'm always... Uh, out in support of the Ochoa Boys, and I'm going to be basically introducing them to the audience tonight. I'm looking forward to it, and if you guys are not here, you missed it. How many times a week do you work out? Uh, I work out probably five days a week, six days a week. But I don't, I, don't, I don't work out with like weights. I don't lift a lot of heavy weights. Yeah. I just sort of do like, uh, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, just basic are you, stuff. Yeah. Are you strict on your diet? Uh, you know what, I work out not to look good, but to eat whatever I want. That's the whole reason I work out, because I like to eat. If anybody looks at my Instagram, that's at Gino Seegers on Instagram, you'll see a lot of food, because I love to eat. In fact, all of my people that follow me, all the people that follow me on Instagram, they know that I always like all the food pictures, uh, all the pictures of hot dogs, all the pictures of hamburgers, all the pictures of, I'm telling you, I, 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 I like all of that sort of stuff. If you got any food pictures, send them my way, I like them.